Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to our first day in Chagram. Chagram is a popular tourist destination known for its forests, ancient temples and royal palaces. In order to reach Chagram, you can take a train from the Howrah railway station. Chagram is connected to multiple cities in the southeastern railway section. Another way to reach Chagram is by road. That is what we are doing today. We are taking the Asian Highway Network AH46 which will lead us directly to Jhargram. However, we are not directly going to Jhargram. We will first be exploring the outskirts of Jhargram before actually hitting the town. Jhargram is that location of nature where natural and green beauty of the forest, river and waterfall all converge at the same place. Not only is there picturesque beauty, but also gregarious people who inhabit this place that will make the heart swell with happiness. A number of birds, including some of rare and migratory, can be seen perched on the trees. The dense forests are home to many species of animals like bear, peacock and rabbits. The immense beauty of Kongshobodi, Shubornoreka, Dulum, Tarafeni, Chargram Rajpat, Shalbon, Khatiri, Bil Pahari, Topobon, Khandarini, as well as the life and culture of the tribal population gives the actual feeling of happiness of mind. There are loads of culture, history, royalty and nature to explore in Chargram. So let's go. All right, so we are at our first stop at Chilkigor Rajbari. This place is located about 13 kilometers from Jhargram and it is our first stop on the way to Jhargram. We actually crossed Jhargram on our way uh, to Chilkigor. We actually were supposed to take a ride about 10 kilometers ago, but we are planning to go Chilkigor first and then go inside Chargram so we take the next ride from the highway and it takes about a couple of minutes to reach Chilki Bardaj. So let's go explore. Located about 13 kilometers from Chargram, having ruins of royal palace and the Konak Durga temple, Chilki Rajbari is a sight to see. With the Dulung river flowing in between, this place takes you back in time. Now history says that King Jagaddeo of Shuryavansh dynasty declared himself King Dhawaldev after defeating Dhaliraj, the king of Chilkikar back then. And later, the royal family of Chilkikar came to be called as the Dhawaldevs. The present king Dhawaldev is currently alive but mostly lives in Kolkata. Alright, moving on, our next stop in Chilkigor is the Konuk Durga temple and just right on one end of the temple flows the Dulung river. King Gopinath had built this temple which is estimated to be more than 500 years old. It is believed that the king dreamt the idol of goddess Konuk Durga and he built the temple of the goddess. As the name suggests, the idol is completely made of gold and is two feet in height. It is believed that human sacrifice formed a vital ritual during the time of the royals and until the sacrificial blood reached the Dolong River, the rituals continued. A visit to the Kanak Durga temple gives a thrilling experience of natural beauty. Located about 14 kilometers away from Chargram town, this century-old temple 
is located in the forest beside a small charming river named Dulu. Several rare species of birds, trees, and monkeys can be seen here. There is a spot called Kendua on the way to Konoburga. Migratory birds visit this area in winter. A half an hour visit to the dense forest gives a charming experience. So we have reached Chagram town and our first stop at Chagram town is the zoo. The small zoo is about 2 kilometers away from the town. This zoological park was opened by the state forest department. Deers, snakes, crocodiles, black rabbit, wolf, peacocks, bears and various types of monkeys and several varieties of trees can be seen here. It is a good place to visit with children. At present, the Jungal Mahal Zoological Park has 147 types of mammals, 67 types of birds, 147 reptiles. The total area of the park is 21.54 hectares. After the zoo, we stop by for a quick lunch and then after lunch we visit the tribal museum. It is a museum created by the state government with a focus on rich tribal art and culture. The tribal interpretation center is this inside Shal forest and is about one kilometer from Chargram town. There are some cottage for the tourists and an open stage for cultural programs to spend some time taking in the rich tribal culture and staying among the tribes. Alright, so with this we come to the end of our vlog slash day one in Chilkigor and Chagram. It's been a tiring day, 
We started very early, about a five hour drive, and then very warm weather, but here we are, driving towards the sunset. Stick around for the next and final part of our Chargram vlog for some awesome nature as we travel deeper and explore the deep forests of Chagra. Thank you for traveling with me. Do give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, see you next time. Goodbye.